Evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 minus root of x plus 4 all over x. And right away, we know that we can't plug the 0 in for x. Because if we were to do that, we would end up with 0 in the denominator. And that's just not allowed. So what is our other option? Well, how about we just multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by the conjugate of the top. And the conjugate of 2 minus root x plus 4 is 2 plus root x plus 4. And of course, we need that down below as well. OK. So we have the limit as x approaches 0. And over here, we can actually expand this expression. We have 2 minus root x plus 4 times 2 plus root x plus 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Now 2 times the root of x plus 4 is just 2 times the square root of x plus 4. Next one over, we have minus root x plus 4 times 2. That's just minus 2 root x plus 4. And finally, minus root x plus 4 times plus root x plus 4, or just positive root x plus 4, is just going to be minus x plus 4. Very important that we have this in parentheses, right? So we just have minus parentheses x plus 4. All over, down below, we just have x times 2 plus the root of x plus 4. I won't actually, actually distribute the x. And why is that? Because later, I might be able to simplify things without distributing. But up top, look at this. We can cancel these out. Because 2 root x plus 4 minus 2 root x plus 4 is just 0. So we just end up with 4 minus. Now, there's a hidden 1 here, which we can distribute. Minus 1 times x minus x minus 1 times 4 minus 4. And that's still over x times 2 plus root x plus 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So we're going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of negative x over x times 2 plus root x plus 4. Now look at this. We can cancel out the x's. We get one up top, one down at the bottom, which don't which we don't really even need to write down because it would distribute in there anyways and not change anything. So we have the limit as x approaches zero of negative one all over two plus the square root of x plus four. Fantastic. Look at this. Now we can actually plug the zero in without getting zero in the denominator. Isn't that amazing? I can almost hear, hear you say, yes, it's amazing. So 0 plus 4 down below. So we have negative 1 over 2 plus, now 0 plus 4 is just 4, and the root of 4 is 2. Square root of 4 is 2. So we end up with negative 1 over 4. So that is the limit, evaluated, and that's it.